Hello everyone. Today we shall discuss about Hans Christian Oersted experiment. First of all, you see here that this is our magnetic compass. For that purpose, experiment we need a magnetic compass, a cell connecting wires, right? And a wire. You see, where you have taken a wire, right? And let us see what happens if we do this experiment. First of all, we know that this is a magnetic compass. If we take a magnetic compass, if we take a U-shaped magnet, you see this is our U-shaped magnet. See here. If you take this magnet to the magnetic compass, it will deflect. You see here, that is deflecting. See here, right? This magnetic compass is deflecting. That means this magnet is interact with this magnet and deflects that magnet, right? Right? And what Oersted says that if we pass a current through a conducting wire, the conducting wire also behaves like a magnet. That means it produces a magnetic field around the wire. And that magnetic field interacts with this compass and it deflects the compass needle. We will do this experiment. So you see, this is our cell. This is positive polar polarity and this is negative polar pole. This is positive pole and this is negative pole. Right? Let us join this positive pole with red wire. You see, this is our red wire. This is our red wire. We have joined this with the red and negative with the black. You see? And here you see this wire. Let us take this wire on the compass. Here you see? We have put it on the compass. And if we take this red wire here. Right, we join this wire with the jack and let us take another jack that is the black jack. Here you see, this is black. I see, Now if we take an LED, you see that LED is glowing, that means current is passing through this wire, right? Now if you join this wire, you see, if you join this wire, this is the positive side and this is the negative side. And if we take this wire to the magnetic compass, Near the magnetic compass, you see that there flows electric current through this wire, through this wire, right? And you see that this wire produces magnetic field which will deflect the magnetic compass, right? If we take it near the magnetic compass, let us see what happens, right? Let us see what happens if we take it to take this wire near to the magnetic compass. You see here, let us take this magnetic compass near it. Let us take this wire to the magnetic compass and let's see what happens. Take this wire near to the magnetic compass and let's see what happens. You see the magnetic compass is deflecting, right? Then you can say that current is uh, 
passing through this wire and a magnetic field is produced which interacts with the compass and deflects the needle of the compass you see here it is deflecting right you see here this compass is See here, now see, this wire is, the compass is, the wire deflecting the magnetic needle. That means, whenever current is passing through this wire, a magnetic field is produced in the, near the wire, which makes the magnetic compass to deflect. You see here? This is deflecting. Right? Now, if you so, if you change the polarity, what will happen? If you change the polarity of the wire, let's see what happens. Right? Now, we are changing the polarity. Here you see, we are changing the polarity. Here, we have taken this red on the negative side and this black on the positive side. Let's see what happens. Right? Now we have changed the polarity and let's see what happens. You see that the magnetic compass is deflecting but in the opposite direction. Here you see the magnetic compass is deflecting in the opposite direction, right? That means the direction of the magnetic field is also, magnetic field is also changed, right? Here you see, the magnet is deflecting. That means we can say that whenever current is passing through this conductor, there is a, produces, it produces a magnetic field which interacts with the magnetic compass and deflects the magnetic compass, right? Let's see once again. Yes, if, if we brought, bring this wire to the magnetic compass and let's see what happens. See, the magnetic compass is deflecting in the opposite direction. See here. Whenever this current is passing through this wire, the magnetic compass is Deflecting in the opposite direction. Now, if we change the polarity, you will see here that if we change the polarity also, you will see that the magnetic compass deflects in the opposite direction. Let us once again change the polarity of this battery. This is red color on the positive side and black on the negative side. And we see that it will rotate in anti-clockwise direction. Let us see. Bring this wire near to the magnetic compass and see what happens. You see here, the magnetic compass now is deflecting on the anticlockwise direction. You see, this is anticlockwise direction. Now the magnetic compass is deflecting in anticlockwise direction. And the previous case, it was deflecting in the clockwise direction, right? That means you can say that whenever Magnetic, whenever we give current to a magnetic conductor, the conductor produces a magnetic field which deflects the magnetic compass of the needle of the magnetic compass. You see here, this is deflecting but in the opposite direction. Right? This is Hans Christian Oersted experiment. He says that, that means we can say that there is a relation between electricity and magnetism. Right? He says that whenever a current passes through a conducting conductor, the conducting current conductor produces a magnetic field which interacts with that of the magnetic compass, magnetic compass and it deflects the magnetic compass. You see, if we bring this wire to the magnetic compass, it will deflect the compass. See here, it is deflecting. See, it is deflecting the anticlockwise direction right you see this is deflecting in the anticlockwise direction 
right if we change the polarity let's see what happens if we change this polarity we are changing the polarity of the wire and let's see what happens in this case you see it is deflecting in the clockwise direction you see here this is deflecting in the clockwise direction right that means whenever we change the polarity of the wire the deflection of the magnetic needle change the direction also right and this is what says the hans christian oersted experiment that whenever we pass a current through a conducting wire it produces a magnetic field around the wire which interacts with the magnetic field of the compass and that's why the compass needle is deflected in either clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction this is our hans christian oersted experiment dear friend if you like this video please subscribe like and share thank you everybody for watching this video